Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hello my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, I love you guys. Thank you guys for your love and support. Thank you guys for those of you that have emailed me uh, for the crown chakra spray. I really appreciate all your love and support, okay? I'm very excited about this. Alright, so uh, for those of you guys that don't know, I will be shipping out tomorrow, okay? So I'll be shipping out tomorrow for those that ordered the product. All right, so listen to your heart. Is This is what I heard when I was channeling these messages for you guys. I heard Spirit say to listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Okay, so something about um somebody that really hurt your heart. Somebody that says things without... um Somebody says things to you or they the way they speak to you, the way they are towards you, they really hurt your feelings, but this person feels like you don't get affected by whatever they're doing or that you don't have feelings and you're not entitled to get your feelings hurt. Somebody feels like you're so strong that they could come um, come at you any way they want or they could do whatever they, they want to you when they can let you down and that you're going to be okay, that it's not going to affect you, that they could come around you as if nothing happened after they do something like that. Listen to your heart. Your heart is telling you to stop overextending your energy to this person that's doing this to you, intentionally doing this to you. Somebody could be making plans with you. All of a sudden, they cancel or they don't show up. They don't call. They just, they're rude about it. They're just rejecting you, making you feel rejected. Pay attention to those type of people, all right? Somebody, you know, is doing this to you purposely to um, put you in this sad energy, all right? And also, I heard the song, Listen to Your Heart. Listen to your heart when it's calling for you. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where I'm going and I don't know how. Listen to your heart. Before it tears you apart, all right? Wow, so that's what it says. Before it tears you apart. So something is really weighing heavy on your heart. So listen to your heart. You need to release something. You need to release some pain. You need to release this negative uh, pattern of thinking. Or maybe you need to release feeling responsible for a situation. Because you've done everything you can to try to make a situation work with somebody. This could be a family member, a loved one, a friend. You've done everything you can to be nice and genuine to this individual. But you need to listen to your heart because you're being guided to walk away. Because it's like you're having a conversation with somebody or somebody's talking to you and they're accidentally going to tell on themselves. So pay attention to when someone's talking to you. Listen closely. This person is actually going to tell on themselves. And your intuition is going to pick up on that they just lied or that they're making something up or that they're making it seem like, you know... <clears throat> Whatever you're suspecting isn't true about them, but it really is. I heard the planets are aligning in your favor, my beautiful Aries. The planets are aligning in your favor. Something major is happening, a major transformation that you're going through, a major breakthrough that you're having. Something's going in your favor. Something's going viral. You're being recognized. You're being seen. You know, you have this beautiful, confident energy right now. This is the time for you to put yourself out there. This is the time for you to... Uh, start a project. This is a time for you to make a sudden move. This is a time for you to do something outside of the box, outside of the norm, all right? Change your perspective. You could be seeing a fox. A fox is significant. Could be somebody's spirit animal or a rabbit, okay? It's significant or a deer, all right? Somebody could be um, coming across a dead animal. That's your fallen soldier. That's a fallen soldier in the spirit realm. The animals protect you from any spells that are meant to harm you physically or mentally or emotionally or even affect your health. You're being protected if you've seen a dead animal, all right? Now, I heard this really loud. I heard a family reunion. There's going to be like the, like your family's planning some sort of family reunion. Be mindful. There's hidden intentions. There's hidden motives to this whole situation, this whole family reunion thing. And, and because these family members feel left out by your energy, these family members know that you know something that they were doing to you for a long time. So they have no way of getting into your energy or no way of getting you to come to their home or no way of getting in touch with you. So they're planning some sort of family reunion so that you can show up. All right. And they can do something to trigger you, say something to trigger you, bring your ex there or put something in your food or drink. Be mindful. I got that message. 
All right. And there's a, a dark energy, a dark empath male here. Like I said, it could be somebody's ex. This could be a brother to somebody because you could be male or female watching. It could be somebody's brother, ex, family member, cousin, all right, or fake friend. They're using a karmic male in order, in, in order for you to feel comfortable with this person, in order for this person to lure you somewhere, all right? Even if this person is going to take you out to eat, they can put something in your food when you're not looking or something like that in your drink. Or they're, they're, they're being told to lure you somewhere. So be mindful with this dark karmic male energy. Don't trust this person right now. <clears throat> they're trying to, they're really trying to stop me from talking, right? My throat chakra is being affected ever since I started talking in this video. So yeah, they want you to be in this energy of anxiety. They want you to be in stressful energy. They want you to be in fear. But remember, I keep telling you guys, your thoughts are very powerful. Your words are very powerful. All right. Your intentions are very powerful. Okay, because these people know that you got this goddess or God energy that you're very powerful. So they want to project all this fear. Fear tactics could be gang stalking, people following you, people watching you around your home, around your workplace, while you're driving. These are fear tactics, guys. Don't worry about that. Maybe you're afraid. You feel like somebody's watching you. Like, like maybe you're thinking about maybe you did something wrong. And no, you didn't do anything wrong. All right, these are their fear tactics. They cannot touch you if they wanted to. If they had anything on you, they would have approached you already. They're just doing this as a fear tactic to project dark energy, anxiety, stress, fear onto you. That's a specific message for someone, not for everyone. Okay, they want to cause you anxiety. All right, so get out of your head. You're protected. Like I said, you have invisible warriors, invisible bodyguards in yesterday's reading. This seems like a continuation of that video. All right, you do have invisible bodyguards. You do have invisible warriors. that They walk everywhere with you. They're with you all the time. All right, they already know this person's plan to try to get you to go somewhere or lure you somewhere, like, or make you feel bad, some sympathy spells, making you feel sorry for them, woe is me energy. But you had a lot of patience with these people, and your ancestors and God himself had a lot of patience with these people. But you know what? Surrender to the divine. Surrender all your worries. Surrender all your fear. Let go of anxiety. It's an internal battle for your soul right now going on. All right? With God and the devil are fighting for your soul at this time. So patience. You need to have patience. You need to be grounded. You need to get away from these environments where these people can access your energy. Even if you have to block them from phone calling from calling your phone. You got to do what you got to do right now. But there's a significant Sagittarius that you could be involved or you have Sag in your chart or somebody could be watching. This could be a cross watch or Sag, whatever. All right. Well, the world is in reverse. Yeah. This situation is coming down to a complete end. There's, like something's going to be completely shut down. All right. This could be the matrix being shut down. This could be like a, a global thing where all the um, Internet gets shut down or a global reset or there's power outages happening somewhere. All right. Well, something is being shut down here in your life completely because these people, they're not they're going to stop at nothing. All right. They're going to stop at nothing. They're desperate. All right. I heard these people have been chipped. I don't know what that means, but some people have been chipped with some sort of dark AI energy attached to it. So something about the AIs is evil. AI is evil. AI is going to end the world or AI wants to end the world or AI wants to uh, take over control of po the population of the majority of people to mind control them. Somehow they want to chip you or something about a chip is significant here. That could be going on in the masses. That could be a significant message for someone. You could be researching this right now. All right. So yeah, get out of your head. You have cornucopia, cornucopia energy, 1111 energy. So it could be, uh, 29. It could be 49, 39. 48, the angel of love is balancing out your life and the temperance angel is here because, yeah, you, you got your wings. Something about you got your wings, you access your wings, or something about you have mastered yourself of so many levels of attacks that have been done to you, so many things that you've conquered, so many fears that you overcame, all right? So don't give up now. You are a true earth angel warrior of light here. Wow. And this is what they want to do. Put you in anxiety. Like somebody purposely rejects your phone calls or somebody purposely um, just like disregards your you, the, the love you're trying to give to them. They don't want to reciprocate. So it's OK. Let that person let them go. They're only trying to block you because they have been 
controlled by a dark entity to stop you from being victorious, to stop you from crowning yourself with the truth, from knowing that you are worthy of whatever you put your mind to, that you are royalty to your ancestors. Wow. They don't even want you to know that. Yeah, because they're working with the Empress in reverse here. You know? Yeah, they're they're working with the Empress in reverse. So this could be a karmic in your workplace. This could be a karmic in your life, in your family. This could be someone's mother figure. But they want this person to give you this fake cup of love, this false invitation, because that's what I'm picking up on when I'm looking at this card today. This person is very uh, low vibrational and ignorant, or they were low vibrational enough to be taken over by a dark force to come and give you a fake cup of love because there's a fish in that cup. All right. Yeah. Be careful. Somebody likes to go fishing. Fishing could be significant or somebody eats a lot of fish. All right. With that fish in the cup. Somebody could be a Pisces. Speak to me now, spirit. What is the message? What is the message for the Aries? What do they need to know about? Keep moving forward because I said, this is your winning season. You are starting something. You are branding something. You are being seen in the, in the spotlight. You are being chosen for this. You are being approved for whatever it is. The planets are aligning in your favor. That's what it is. All right? And you need to keep standing your ground. All right? With this Queen of Swords energy, yes, you've mastered yourself. You've been through the most. You have this Queen of Swords energy, male or female. So you are standing your ground. Some of you guys are dealing with a Queen of Swords, the, the Empress in reverse, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, karmic female or masculine energy, all right, because they want to stop you from getting into this divine partnership with your soulmate, all right, but this is divine timing at play right now in your love life, wow, yeah, the ten of pentacles, yeah, somebody's in deep regret, all right, because they didn't value you when they had the chance, this person is awakened to who you are, this person was being uh, manipulated, all right, this person was being manipulated to think that you were the bad guy or to, to work against you or to, like, leave you out in the cold. Or they had all these options, but now this person only sees you. This person knows you're the 10, okay? And this karmic is obsessed because this person over already knows they're coming towards you. They're already aligning themselves to come towards you for this connection. There's nothing they can do to stop it. The strength card, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Aries, Leo, or Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces energy, the Two of Swords. Now this karmic is in the Two of Swords, a mental prison, because this person that they were trying to block from, from being with you or you, that you were, they were trying to block you, you gained the strength. This person gained the strength, so this is going to happen regardless. This is the strength. I don't even need to say no more. I could drop the mic because this person gained the strength to, to see you and know you're the Ten of Pentacles. This is like a power couple energy. Two people coming together like a powerhouse, power couple. All right? Starting something together, working together, humanitarian energy, building your empire together. Wow. All right? And this King of Cups is in despair because this King of Cups received communication that this uh this emperor or empress is going to, to be the one that's going to be with you or they're going to come to give you this offer. There's nothing they can do to stop it. They already know this person sent out the message or they sent out this document or paperwork or you're getting this document or paperwork. Because this could be uh, talking about something you've been waiting on. That you're getting communication about this. That something's going through. And this king of cups is in despair because now they're in the two of swords because they teamed up with this karmic empress in reverse. They send in the Knight of Wands to try to get you to go somewhere to play on your heartstrings, all right? But now they're all carrying a heavy burden. Wow, because you're the freaking high priestess. Somebody has the letter B or J in their name. I heard Janice or Janet, Janelle, Chantel, Terrell, Tori, Terry, Tina, Lillian or Lily. I heard Jax or Jackson, Jacqueline. Jake. Yeah, now they're now they're um they self-sabotage everything. This is what they want you to do, Aries. They want you to self-sabotage everything by being stuck in your head, by being confused, by being upset, by feeling like nothing is going in your favor because this is their energy. You need to learn how to transmute energy that does not belong to you guys because this is what you have coming in for you. The Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, the, the Strength, and the Page of Wands. All right? Yeah. 
This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person, like, like this person got all these options, but they only see you. They only want you. They only need you. All right. This person knows who you are. Wow. And there's a cycle that's ending, completely ending for these karmics. And this is what I have for you guys. This is the energy that I'm picking up on. I'm going to pull a couple more cards because I love you guys just to see. Just to see random messages that come out for anybody watching. If any of these messages that come out of this deck, these are random messages, resonate with you in any type of way. That means there's a message in this video for you. If any of those names resonated, that also means the same. All right. Give me the message. Somebody has twins. Somebody could have twin girls or twin sons. But I see girls on this card. Somebody has twins. Somebody's going on a vacation or they're planning a vacation. Somebody's going to text you late at night. Be mindful. This person could be the one I'm talking about. That this they're going to send somebody in to text you late at night to get to lure you to go somewhere. To play on your heartstrings. Yeah. But you're you're they're they're trying to get into your head. They're sending you telepathic messages to to guide you in the wrong direction. So be careful with that energy. Yeah, because these people are stalking or this person is stalking someone's social media. All right. Somebody likes to wear different color wigs. That could be significant. Or somebody's bald headed and they wear hats. They wear hats a lot. I'm going to marry you. Somebody, they already know this person is going to come in to marry you or to propose to you. And they're all checking you out right now. Whatever you're doing, something's going viral. Yeah, because your soulmate is ready to settle down. So even your soulmate could be sending you telepathic messages. There's an important phone call about somebody's child that's getting bullied at school. Or something's going on with a child at school. There's an important phone call coming here. For someone, justice is going to be served. Something is seen on camera here. Earth sign. There's an earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you could be dealing with. Somebody wants to bring you a gift. Somebody really is admiring you right now. All right? A best... You had a fake best friend, male or female, that was an air sign. They were a fake best friend, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay? They betrayed you. And if you're going to get an important phone call and you're going to have to take action. Somebody's ex here uh, is upset because one of their friends or somebody they know has a crush on you or they want to give you an offer. This is a specific message for someone. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right, a water sign is significant here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's being haunted in their house. Somebody's house is being haunted by ghosts or en an entity. Is, they send an entity to your home, this water sign, and now this entity is haunting this water sign's home. Wow. Okay, because you could have did a house cleansing or a cleansing ritual. You're a very talented artist. Like I said before, jack of all trades, your ancestors and warriors, your bodyguards are always with you. They try to send something to your home. That was the wrong move. These people were warned and they did, listen, they want to, like, now I feel like if you, if they can't beat you, they want to join you or something, or they want to, there's a group of people, they want to get you a part of their uh, group so they can harness your gifts, all right, because your gifts are powerful, but these people, they work with darkness, so be mindful, that's not your path, all right, a co-worker has a crush on somebody here, but they, they haven't said anything to you yet, or somebody watching, a water sign, like I said, completely lost you, they lost and now they're being hunted or something like that. Wow. They're really checking you out, though. Somebody has green eyes. The letter W, X, Y, or Z. Somebody's getting into a bar fight. You were adopted childhood trauma. And now they're asking friends about you. They're coming to see you with a bunch of love messages. Your spirit owl is guiding this person right to your life. And your spirit owl is, is protecting you from something. Psychic attacks. You're being protected. And pay attention to your intuition if you have a spirit owl. All right, these are your messages, my love. If you guys need a personal reading, my email's down below. Reach out to me. I love you guys. Um, thank you for your love, support, comments, your likes, and your donations. Thank you for um, supporting the product, okay? I love you guys. Till the next time, namaste.